Hello my friends, so today I'm going to be showing you all the makeup brushes that I own from the brand Hakuhoro and I'm going to be telling you which of the brushes that I currently own I believe you should actually own if you don't happen to own one so let's go ahead and start okay so I went ahead and bought these two brushes from Hakuhoro and the reason why I bought them is because I wanted something good for the blush. This one I believe is a goat and then this one here is a horse if I'm not wrong. So I do like them but I find them that when I actually use them to apply my uh, blush, uh, this one actually applies too much product because you know it's white. Anything that is white is going to apply more product and it's going to blend it well. And whereas anything that it might be black, like a horse or goat, is going to pick up less product and it's going to apply less product as well. So, but the problem with this one is that the hairs are a little bit too rough. I find them to be too rough into my skin that sometimes I feel it actually takes away the blush or my makeup when I'm trying to apply my blush. And with this one, it just applies too much. Um, too much blush in just one spot so I like them but um, I rarely use them and they're very expensive they're not cheap and uh, this one let me see uh, the black one this one is J210 I think it's being discontinued if I'm not wrong and this one I tried searching for it again in the website and I couldn't find it and this one is J110 so if you're interested in this ones those are the numbers of these two brushes J110 and J210 and the next brush that I actually went ahead and purchased from Hakuhoro is this uh, highlighter brush and this one is the G5538 uh, I rarely use this one because I'm not really like a highlighter person but uh, it is a very good brush to own if you are a highlighter person because anything that has white hair I find it to be very soft and it actually picks up a lot of product so when I have used it I actually have liked it how it actually has applied you know the highlighter into my face especially because how it really blends it in into my skin so I rarely use it but if you're a highlighter person you would definitely love this one I mean if you're not then you shouldn't even buy it it only cost me $30 it's a good brush to own if you're a highlighter lover okay the next brush that I purchased is uh, this J5547 let me show you the number here hopefully you can see it let me see if it, my camera focus and um, this one I rarely use this one um, I mean I like it again because it's so soft to the skin just probably you can use it just to uh, conceal your um, highlighter your highlighter your concealer but um, I rarely use this brush I don't use it that much so another brush that I went ahead and purchased from Hakuhoro is this long um, eyeshadow brush I don't know why I got this one um, but I think probably I got it because I wanted to go ahead and use it as a contour brush you know for the, the small areas here in my face and this one is let me see it doesn't have a number but I think I have it written down somewhere this one is let me see uh, is G5540 so this is a G5540 and this one cost $22 okay so let me see if you want to see let me show my finger see how <laughs> there is. so yeah so this one is um, something that you can probably purchase to use to actually you know contour your face here especially in you know the size of your nose here in the corners of your face um, but um, I really don't think this is something that you must have in your brush collection so yeah there you have it I went ahead and purchased it just for the heck of it but I really can't uh, I won't die if I don't have it in my brush collection so yeah now another brush that I went ahead and uh, purchased from Hakuhoro is this brush here and this one is a tapered brush and this one I can't remember the number let me see my notes hmm. 
okay. Oh, this one is a G5533 and uh, it cost me $25 and basically this is like the duplicate of another brush that I happen to have. Oh, this one here, if you notice, they're the same. But this one is goat and this one is squirrel, okay? And um, this one is J5533. J5533 and then this one is G5533 okay this um, the square one is G5533 so I really don't think you should buy this ones I really they don't help me at all when I'm trying to actually blend in well my eyeshadow especially here on the top of uh, my um, lid uh, it really doesn't really help so I really don't recommend you guys wasting your money and buying this um, brushes because for me they're not useful. I didn't find them any use. There are actually other brushes that I do recommend you to actually own and have in your makeup collection because they do wonders that actually you know do a great job in blending your eyeshadow and making you look so good at, at the end. So let me go ahead and show you those. And those are this J5520, what, 22? The J5522. This one, if you're looking for a good blending brush, especially to blend the crease of your eyes, then this one is something that is one that you actually need to own. This is a very good brush. I just can't get you know tired of saying the same thing. If you don't own this brush or you don't own any Hakuhoro, just make sure that you buy this one. After you try this one, you will see that you know this brand is such a good brand in regarding to their brushes that they provide and the how they actually perform when you actually apply your makeup with them so you definitely want to start if you don't have any Hakuhoto brush and start with the J5522 so you can do your blending because you want to have a nice eyeshadow another brush that I do recommend day 146 if you can see it, let me see if my camera focus. Does it focus? I'm not sure if it's focusing, but anyways, this is the J146, and this is so tiny compared to the one that I just showed you, which is the J5522. Let me show you. See, it's so tiny, but this one because it is so tiny, you can actually use it here in the uh, in the crease of your eye and it will do a very nice precise line between your your crease and your eyelid and that way giving you that cut crease you're looking for and then with this one being able to blend it out so I do definitely recommend you if you're looking to do uh, uh, cut crease eyeshadows then you should definitely look into buying the J146 now another brush that I do recommend for you ladies to actually purchase if especially if you're looking for a good brush to apply your eyeshadow into your eyelid is the um, J127 which is this one let me show you the number here hopefully it's not upside down no there you go so the J127 this one is a very 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 good brush to actually own it does a great job in uh, picking up the product and applying it into your lid I love this brush so if you have big or small eyes this is a brush that you definitely will love having in your brush collection so you can actually work with your you know eyeshadows and finish those nice eyeshadow looks that you might create on your own or on anyone else and it's not rough on the skin again another brush that uh, I think you should own if you're looking to smash your eyeshadow is this new one that I actually purchased that I fell in love with which is the B5510 I was looking to buy a brush that it will actually do a nice job and blending uh, with smushing you know the eyeliner here and uh, on the top of my eye as well as the, and the waterline and this one does a great job so if you're looking for a nice smudge brush then you should be looking into purchasing this 55 what 10 55 10 I still don't know my numbers that's why I just use them <laughs> okay so this is a very good a brush to own to use 
if you want to um, have a brush that helps you smudge your um, eyeliner okay this one another brush that I went ahead and purchased from Hakuhoro I think this is the T5526 so and it costs $20 and I mean it does a good job if you're looking for something again to smudge or apply, you know, help you apply your fun, uh, your eyeshadow underneath uh, your your eye or here in the edges of the corner. But I don't know, uh, since it's so pointy, it does kind of, for me, it does feel rough in my skin. So, because it's hoarse, so I really don't use it as much because of that. Um, it, I don't like brushes that actually are hard and or harsh into my skin. So, um, I prefer to use the one that I just show you which is this one the B5510 instead of this one and this one I just recently got it like a week ago and this one I've been having already for a long time and I rarely use it because like I said the bristles are just too harsh in my skin I really don't like the feel of it um, so this one so far has been doing a good job in smushing my makeup and applying the eyeshadow here on the waterline. So uh, I really like this one. So I mean this one I don't think you should buy it. But if you like the shape you can definitely try it. But um, I'm going to tell you that it's kind of rough. At least for me it was rough in my skin. So I rarely use this one. Now another brush that I went ahead and purchased from Hakuhoro is this long eyeshadow brush I don't even know why I purchased this one but I got this one and for this one is I think it cost me $19 and this one is the G5516 I guess again I can use it as a um, contouring brush here on the size of my um, nose and then the size of my face um, because I don't think I can use it here I really don't think so so I haven't used it I already I've been with me for a very long time and I haven't used it at all because I haven't found any use to it so I don't know but the hairs are nice and soft they're even softer than this black one mm -hmm. so this one is softer but I don't think you should actually you know really want to have this brush I don't think so and another brush that I went ahead and purchased from Hakuhodo is uh, this brush here, which is the G24, sorry, the G, J, sorry, J242G. Let me show you the number. Okay, I don't know if you can see. Okay, so it's J242G. And this one, I got it because I was looking to, you know, find a brush that will actually help me apply my eyeshadow into my eyelid. But, mm, no, it's not good. In my opinion, this one is not good for the simple fact that when you actually, since it's a white a hair again, it picks up a lot of product. When you put it into your um, eyeshadow, it, since it picks up so much product and then it becomes so dusty that when you apply it you have a lot of fallout as you can see all the hairs are like spread out so I don't think so that um, this is a good um, eyeshadow brush to apply your eyeshadow into your lid therefore I really do recommend you to get the one that I just told you earlier which is the J127 which is this one because with this one it actually picks up the product and then it, if you dab it or apply it into your eyelid you don't suffer from so much fallout whereas with this one because it's white and it picks up so much product I mean you you do end up having you know a lot of fallout of uh, eyeshadow into your face so this is something that I don't recommend you actually buying for a um, applying your eyeshadow into your lid, which is the G242G. No, this one I don't think you should. You shouldn't own this one, or you shouldn't really want to buy this one. And then another brush that I went ahead and purchased to try to help me, um, what to call, apply my uh, my eyeshadow or smudge my eyeliner it was this one I can't remember the number and I don't have it here so I do apologize for it but um, this one I also bought it for that reason to try to smudge my eye uh, eyeliner 
and and um, it, it does it didn't do a good job I really didn't like it I prefer the one that I just recently purchased that I just showed you because it does a great job and it's not harsh to the skin which is this one the B5510 so over this one let me put them together so you can see let me see can you see there you go so I do recommend you getting this one if you're looking to apply you know eyeshadow or smudge your eyeliner um, because this tiny one no it's, it's it doesn't do a good job now let me see which other brushes I actually purchased that I haven't shown you yet um, oh. yeah and another brush that I think you should definitely consider owning and that you should actually own in your brush collection is this um, J142 you can barely see it because it's already the numbers are already faded because I use them so much so yeah so this J142 is just as good as the J5522 see it's a little bit uh, shorter okay but this one actually has more hair and it blends very well and this one is a little bit mid you know um, size compared to this one but it will do a good job also in blending but I definitely recommend you to also purchase the J142 if you're looking to actually have a smaller brush to help you blend especially if you're doing a cut crease then you might want to have this J142 for that because this one the J5522 is bigger so therefore it's gonna grab more space when you're actually blending and probably you might end up like blending or just reading the entire eyeshadow in other areas that you don't want to so if you want to just concentrate on one area you might want to have just the J142 for that so yeah and let me see what else oh I have another brush that I also purchased that I haven't shown you yet and this is the BJ004G this one Again, this brush, as you can see, I went ahead and purchased because sometimes it's very hard when you're looking for brushes into Hakikoro and tell, you know, how big they are. So I went ahead and purchased this one because I was looking to, you know, purchase or own a brush that will help me apply my eyeshadow into my lid. So, I mean, I like the size of it, but again, when I use it, because it's white and it picks up a lot of product especially the eyeshadows are very um, how can I say very powdery and stuff like that it's just very hard for it to actually apply the product into my eyelid it will mainly end up being you know flying away everywhere but not in my eyelid so I am so glad that I actually found this one which I have already mentioned so many times the J127 because with this one I actually grabs the product and it applies it into my eyelid compared to this one so this is this is one of the another ones that I actually purchased by mistake and hoping you know that I will find the right eyeshadow eyeshadow sorry and finding the right brush you know applicator for my eyelids so let me see the other one that I had shown you that I went ahead and purchased was this one here which is the J242G let me put them together so you can see and I finally found the one that I needed which it was this one the J127 so forget those two you don't need those two okay you just need the J127 if you're looking for a good brush to apply your eyeshadows and your lids now let me see which one else I went ahead and purchased and then I went ahead and purchased this eyeliner which I don't know the number because with Hakuhoro it's like the what is it called the the labeling uh, fades away immediately so you really have to if you want to have it and you don't want it to disappear you probably what you want to do is use nail polish clear nail polish and then just you know cover with it so that way you will have the numbers and this one back then they didn't have numbers into their brushes until now they are actually putting numbers into it so I went ahead and purchased this a long time ago and that's the reason why it doesn't have any number but I bought this one so it can help me out you know in making my eyeliner 
but um, now I don't even know the, the number but I don't like it I don't like it I, I rather just use my NYC um, eyeliner and with that brush it does a perfect job so I don't think I need to use this one and I really don't think you ladies need this one so anyways so those are all the brushes that I went ahead and purchased from Haki Horo the rest that I have here which are these ones are just duplicates um, they're just repurchase of brushes from the ones that I just show you because I love them so much that I need to buy more of them and here you go you see another one you see the J um, what is it called? 5522 I have like three or four of these and then I have like two of these so yeah so hopefully this video was useful to you ladies and hopefully you like it and let me go ahead again and uh, summarize which brushes I believe you should definitely own into your brush collection if you're looking to have you know a good brush for your eyeshadows so let me see let me go ahead and find them so these five brushes are the ones that I think you should definitely buy from Hakuhoro and I don't think you need anything else uh, in order to help you create good eyeshadows and blend them very nicely into your eyelid uh, with these five brushes you should be able to have a nice eyeshadow so this is the J5522 and this is the B J142 okay And this is the J146. Let me see. Oh, you can barely see it. Okay, so this is the J146. Okay. And the J127. And lastly, the B5510. I think this is all the brushes that you should definitely buy from Hakuhoro if you're looking to own good brushes that will help you create nice eyeshadows. So definitely try these ones and if you do try them out, I would love to know whether or not you actually loved working with these brushes. So please go ahead and leave me your comments below. And regarding to other type of brushes like face, I really don't have many. I just have the ones that I show you. But for me, the most important brushes for my eye um, eyelids are these ones. So, I mean, I definitely will be purchasing more of these because I want to have as many as I can have. Probably like three or four more of these. Okay. So hopefully you liked this video and it was useful and if you guys actually like this video then go ahead and give me a little thumbs up, like and subscribe and uh, share and I'll be seeing you into my next video and thank you so much for watching. You guys take care like always. Bye bye.